Now, the Federal Capital Territory Police Command has commenced investigation in the case of alleged assault involving a member of the House of Representatives, Alex Ekweche. Ekweche, who represents Aba North and South Federal Constituency, was alleged to have assaulted an e-hailing driver, Stephen Abuacheya. A video that has since gone viral showed the lawmaker slapped the driver when he requested the delivery fee querying if the driver knew who he was talking to. The lawmaker also threatened to make the driver disappear without facing any consequences. In a statement released by the command spokesman on Monday, Josephine Ade, the police said investigation had commenced into the matter. Meanwhile, the lawmaker has been said to have apologized for his action. We are now joined by Arise News analyst Dayo Shobo Ali to discuss the incident and the need for a comportment training for public officials on how to conduct their relationships with other members of the public. Uh, good to have you on Arise News. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Shobo Ali. Well, this is not the first time something like this will be happening. We would recall the case of Elisha Abo, the senator who assaulted a toy shop owner. And of course, we know that the case went on before he was fined and, you know, charged in court. What do you think is responsible for this misdemeanor amongst our, our lawmakers who are supposed to be representing the people? Yes, I think it's loss, loss of uh, moderation and restraint. And they keep on forgetting that they are in the limelight. They are public officials. But then, you see, their, their behavior reflects their orientation, their upbringing. It's not a matter of training. There's no training in the world you get me, that can prevent this sort of thing. If innately and uh, basically there's temper, there's intolerance, there's arrogance, and there is lack of respect for people in lower status. But then, you see, I don't want to jump the gun, and I don't want to do a media trial. The police, even though from their statement, you will see the bias. I see, because here's the statement, and they said, this guy said, go, to, go and bring the inspector general of police to deal with you. I think that acts, that acts the police more than any other thing. But if they say they are doing investigation, and if they are biased, you can predict the end of the investigation. A suspect is presumed innocent until found otherwise. Let them go on with their uh, investigation. The damage is done. The damage is done. And the four legislator has, uh, has uh, apologized. See, he has apologized. But it's like, you know, closing the uh, stable doors after the horses are bolted. He has a lot of uh, muffing up and image cleaning to do. And of course, uh, failure is an offer. His colleagues have uh, literally disavowed and disowned him, which is to be expected. So I will pray he learns his lesson. And hopefully it is not a general uh, uh, behavior amongst our legislators. And in fairness to them, I think they like decorum a lot. And they, 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 you see, they say do to others as you will wish them to do unto you. So let's leave it at that for now. So right. talking about the police, you know, you believe it is bias, but some people believe that it's concern over the lawmaker's dismissive attitude towards the office of the IGP. You know, like you said, after assaulting the driver, he told him to go ahead and call the IGP. So I'm wondering, you know, what does this say about the sort of relationship that exists between the police and the ruling class? Uh, the police and the IG is part of the ruling class. The legislator is part of the ruling class. <laughs> But you see, don't take this thing out of context. That was what I was trying to say. That, you see, he, he, I'm sure he, he will run away if he, if he sees the IG coming or his entourage. But you see, it's an ego issue. Ego intimidation. Literal private terrorism. That is a lesser human being. Let me deal with him, man. If you dare, go and bring the inspector general. But I'm happy the police, you know, brought him up for that. They are trying to say that you don't insult the office or you must respect the office of our IG. Look at it in that context. I don't think he will wait, the legislator, who will wait if this, if they say the IG was coming, he will run away. 
But you see, it's to show class and pomposity and arrogance. For which he's paying now. See, if he, you know, okay, I think his own constituents can deal with him. They should not return a man like that to, to office mm. during the next election. That's the ultimate democratic uh, punishment he will suffer. But now, the public uh, ignominy is a social stigma, social political stigma for him to endure. Mm. I don't pity him on it, but I hope he learns his lesson. That is what is. I'd like to take a cue from your last statement, especially yeah. looking at the National Assembly as a regulatory body. Yes. What action do you think they should take, especially as a punitive measure, to curb this kind of actions? Because we've seen it one too many times. What no, actions no, do you think No, no, don't exaggerate. You, you mentioned one. How many yes. times have you seen it? But, but, but it's no, not this, expected of those who are supposed to the, be serving the, the people. The, the house is a house of dignity and decorum. Mm. They know that. And they give a lot of, we give a lot of respect to them. So it behoves them to give respect to people. So if this, this, this like this should not happen, that is it. Mm -hmm. But then mm -hmm. it has happened once, twice. So how many assemblies have you had? How many legislators have been beating up uh, 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 bold, bold, uh, Maybe right, not that right, exactly, right. but they've no, done, you know, actions yeah, that are not expected. That's a common thing, that, that's mm. a common thing if, on the streets. I, I feel it's, it's just a, a, reflect, street, exactly. I feel it's it's a reflection of our society, you know. Hello? I feel it's a reflection of our society because we usually, I, I wouldn't say lawmakers now, but we usually uh -huh. see elites, mm. you know, sometimes we see them display their arrogance on the roads. We see it happen, you know, so many times. So, you know, the, so how do we actually solve this? How do we eradicate this uh, disregard you that they see? To it's have a for human people of lower status. You, see, you are talking of human beings. Mm. You can lessen some behavior. Okay, so how but do we see, lessen it? Hey, I mean, you can This is not the, 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 the society is not a laboratory, hey, and it's the, there's something called the human phenomenon. We are different from each other. Like I, when I started out, I said the man's behavior is a subset of his upbringing, from the family to the school, education, discipline, and all that. That works makes a civilized one. If uh, the people who elected this distinguished legislator, I still call him that, if the people who elected him knew he had such mannerisms, they wouldn't have. But then this is a democracy. He has shown a darker side of himself. They should furnish him at election by not re-electing it, or if possible, withdrawing him. But then you cannot eradicate. It should not happen. But you get me? The law is there mm. to take care of everybody. The law is there. You see, if you are in utopia or a perfect society, uh, there will be no laws to, that people will violate, and there will be no reward people. What is important is the, the law should be implemented in such a way that it, it creates deterrence. Mm. Deterrence. So as you know, if you violate the law, you go to jail or you are punished. Now he is he's seeing it now. Is suffering the stigma of public ridicule and public uh, uh, condemnation. And I hope he learns from it, but then we should not, on the basis of that, deride our entire legislative class. Mm. And I if you talk about even of the elite, we are all elites here now. Mm. Yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but Mr. Ale, you yes. mentioned something about withdrawing or recalling the legislator. Yes. How many times have we seen that happen? We know that there were times where the process was started, but it never saw you know, a successful end. Yeah, How it, feasible it, is that? Part, it's part of the deterrence I'm, I'm talking about. They know it is there. It could be recalled if his people said they are blind to it. And then, as you can see, he can, you see, his colleagues, his colleagues are stigmatizing him. His colleagues issue the statement. That is, they don't want people to look down at them. That is social control. That is a form of social control. And the police, when they investigate, they can take him to court. Get me? But don't let us preempt issues by sending him to the assizes before they have even investigated him. Mm. The law in a democracy presumes you are innocent until found otherwise. Please, let's be more grand more on that score. So just before we go, like you noted earlier, he has apologized. He says he's seeking professional counseling. Is that enough to make up for what he did? I don't want professional counseling. Means. Let him behave himself. You see, you are not overseas. Here, if you misbehave, people call you to order. Mm. And even that social stigma is enough punishment. 
You, get, you wonder how his children will be feeling, huh? or even his relatives. They feel disgrace. That is enough social censor mm. until the police report comes in. Well, Mr. Dayashubawale, I really do hope that that is enough uh, for uh, enough punishment for the action. But uh, we would uh, be ending the conversation on that. No, thank you so much, Mr. Dayashubawale, Arise News Analyst. <laughs>